So apparently Meta has been spotted testing AI generated comments on Instagram. Personally, I'm shocked. I could never imagine Meta doing something like that. Although seriously, do you remember when they made those weird profiles on Instagram? Like what was that about, honestly? Uh, so basically, I think it just comes down to this. I think it's the title is a bit clickbaity, to be honest, but they are giving you suggestions uh, using, <clears throat> using Meta AI. And to be honest, I do think the sort of incentivizes laziness. Why type out a comment if you can just hit the Meta AI button and choose from a drop down list? And even more so, look, there's an actual refresh button. If you don't like these, uh, you can just refresh some new ones. Uh, and they're all positive, actually. I want, I want some negative ones, please. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So should we see what the wonderful people of Reddit have to say? And as always, leave your comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, check out my other channels in the description. So, dead internet theory, baby. Zox would be where Zox world where you're interacting all day with AI ghosts controlled by Meta. I think this is the real scary part right now. You know, sometimes even on Reddit, I'm like, you know, if you go into certain subreddits, you know which ones. You know the sort of culture war subreddits. I'm like, which ones are real? Which ones are AI bots? I don't know. How many? How many bots are there on Instagram that are just trying to drive engagement? Are there people? Are we arguing? Not me. I don't do it. I don't engage. I promise I don't engage with any comments. But are there people just, you know, arguing with bots or even bots arguing with each other? Um, craziness. Craziness. Soon there will be entire social networks abandoned by all humans and are just millions of bots in looped arguments with each other. Do you know what's crazy? I feel like if you go back 20 years, that was Ford. If you're, if, if, well, if you're a company, let's say you're just Facebook as a startup and you've actually devised a botnet to make it look like your app has users and those users are fake bots or you've got money based on your users, that would be just completely illegal and considered fraud, I think. Whereas now that seems to be the standard, uh, just having fake users. Uh, well, I'm sure it's still to obviously illegal to probably get money based off of that, but who knows? Who knows anything? You never noticed recently in the DMs how they remark about utilizing the chats to enhance Instagram experience. Um, yeah, it's just dodgy. Keep in mind, like every, it's just trying to make people. Ultimately, everything comes down to one thing. It's about making money. Honestly, I know that's a bit boring to say, but that's what every single decision that Meta will make will be. Does this software we've introduced? help us grow or help us make more revenue. And if it does, they'll continue to do it. And the Instagram profiles were a bit pathetic as we know, but the, the, at least they disclosed that they were AI profiles. Whereas next time around, I imagine they won't even do that. Um, so uh, there needs to be legal requirement to label any and all published AI generated content. I agree. I'm not like AI bad type person, you know, but I think we should know if something's generated by AI. A prohibition of AI systems. I mean, on YouTube, when you upload already, you have to sort of disclose it's AI. I don't know. It's like, a, yeah, which I imagine is a requirement of their terms and conditions. Uh, I, un I un uninstalled Facebook, and I'm going to be real with you. I uninstalled Facebook, like, before it was cool, you know. Soz. I was just that cool back then. Uh, But, what, in, I don't know how many years ago. Many, 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 many years ago. I've never really had an Instagram, and I've never really had TikTok. I did technically install TikTok once. Uh. And then I sort of uninstalled it because I didn't want to get addicted to it. Uh, let's see. Has there ever been justification for this? Money. We're testing if it makes more money. Um, does it keep... If you can talk to random bots and it keeps you on the platform and it keeps you scrolling and it keeps you looking at more adverts, they'll keep doing it. I guess the echo chamber effect can still be turned on, turned even higher. <laughs> oh dear. Just stop using Facebook and Instagram. Oh man, it's just so dystopian, man. Like, why does there need to be bots? Think about it. Like, I get about driving revenue, but you're going to have a bunch of boomers arguing with bots online on Facebook or just a bunch of comments replying to them that are like positive comments that makes them feel good and keeps them on the platform. It's just craziness. As if their whole platform isn't fake enough already. True. I think that's why I never liked. I never liked when I was at school. I never liked Instagram and Facebook because even then, I just felt like it was just people showing the best parts of their life, you know, and it always felt fake and always felt like, oh, 
I don't know. Anyway, different topic, different topic. Well, it's over. The internet was fun whilst it lasted. I, people keep saying that. The internet is great fun, to be honest. I love the internet. Internet is the best thing that was ever invented, probably. Uh, apart from language, I guess. I hate that internet theory being more true every day. Silicon Valley is run by the most speculatory brain-dead incels with absolutely zero awareness of what the average person wants and desires. Well, they would... I don't know if I agree with this. I don't really have much to add to that, but I don't know if I agree with it. I think they do know. And for the most part, though, they're just people, CEOs at their companies who are trying to maximize profits for their shareholders. That's what it comes down to. And they look at data uh, and they control the things they can control. It's very boring. Um, but yeah, this is so Black Mirror. Yeah. If you're friends and you're intact, if you're, if they are your friends and you're interacting, you know what to say. They're held hostage by the software. <clears throat> I think what I just don't like is, okay, even if, let's say Meta gives you a suggestion of what you were going to say, right? The second it becomes an option for you to select that, now it suddenly feels like, well, I don't know if I actually want to say that. I think what I'm saying is if you have like options on what to say, it's just going to reduce language, right? And there was a, st I might do another video on this. Uh, didn't we see already that Meta has already, uh, Microsoft did a study showing that like LLMs and stuff is, is or AI in general is just hurting people's critical thinking skills. Um, yeah, I just think we need to be careful to not just be like using AI for everything. You know, you've seen those jokes where people use AI to write an email and then the person at the other end is using AI to decode the email or summarize it. So no, no one's actually, re I don't know. It just seems like insanity, to be honest. Uh, I just don't understand why anyone in their right mind thinks this is a good idea. No, cute living room setup, love the cozy atmosphere, great photo shoot location, long. I've seen it on WhatsApp now as well, although I think that's just a bot. I've not really used it. Uh, but when you load into WhatsApp now, bottom right corner, there's a like meta AI button that you can click. Uh, I want to I, I might use it after this, actually. I used it. Maybe I'll use it now. Probably shouldn't do this on a video. Oh, OK. So when you click it. Oh, no. Yeah. OK. Yeah. It's just I mean, fair enough. Quite interesting. Uh, I just said hello. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what, what I was expecting. Uh, and it just said hello back, to be honest. Nice to meet you. Me spotted testing using the delete button on my Instagram account. <laughs> if you read the article, it's not what the title of this post implies. I've already stated that at the beginning. They're right. They are testing AI-generated suggestions for what to reply to a post. However, I do still think, okay, it's fine. So it's like in Teams, when you can just click a pre-written response. Here's the thing, though, with me. For, for Teams... A lot of it is to do with just work and being professional and just being courteous and saying things that aren't really necessarily relevant, right? When you're replying to a colleague at Teams, you're just trying to be respectful and make sure you, and make sure you're acknowledging that, that stuff. So I think that sort of stuff, right, is okay. You're using an AI-generated response because you're just being polite and it's convenient. But when you're on a social media using pre-generated responses, it's just like it's not even you at that point, right? So just bashed into the mic. It's not you. It's just like, I just don't get it. It's also the first step to a platform that loses users. And when they have to, because there's a difference, yeah, again, like I said, there's just, there's a big difference between writing a polite response to someone and choosing, you know, when you read a comment online, you have an infinite number of ways you can respond. If an AI reduces that to three, it's just going to, you're going to lose all nuance and diversity in language if everyone uses that. So it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea, in my opinion. Uh, unless it's like trained on your previous comments. <laughs> but it wouldn't do that because, you know, yeah. Uh, it's eye-opening to see how many people still use their social media because I get it. When you want to scroll through quickly and bore, blah, 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 but it's news and informative, both still need critical eye and thought to realise all platforms, their own echo chambers. Stick true. Why are these all collapsed? Does that mean they're downvoted, I think? Uh, I think I've seen a few of these in the past few months and I genuinely must say... If Zuck keeps it up, I'll delete Instagram. Cool. I just assume practically any comment on a public post is a bot or troll farm anyway. <laughs> yeah, on certain subreddits, it does feel like that. <clears throat> Reddit is doing it too. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is, I don't engage with anyone. There's no point. But you got keep engaging. Brother, ew. No, brother, ew. Seriously, brother, ew. I, okay. Okay, okay. I went from talking to bots on AIM and ICQ to this. I believe we are witnessing the beginning of the end of Meta. Unlikely. Too big to fail? Probably not too big to fail, but they have a lot of influence. I mean, they own WhatsApp, Instagram, Meta, you know, Facebook. They've invested huge amounts in, uh, in a virtual reality. I don't think Meta is going anywhere, if I'm really honest with you. 
uh the dead and they probably have billions in reserve cash as well i imagine because they literally there's nowhere to put their money now the dead internet theory is edging closer you mean i could be arguing with ai comments and not realize it yes that's exactly what they're saying in fact this might be an ai comment as soon as flashes for android launches i'm bailing hard on instagram what the hell is flashes what's our thing yeah they've been doing it for years it, it isn't news this is tr they have been doing it for years we all know that but it's like to what extent other people have pro have deployed bots on instagram and reddit and whatnot facebook but i think there's a difference when it's again this isn't this isn't even bots by the way i'm getting distracted here they've not read the article obviously this is not actually about bots this is about ai suggestions right and i, I don't like it yeah these aren't bot what these aren't bots like messages these are auto suggestions same as in teams google messages yeah i do still think it's different to teams for the reasons I've stated. Thank you. I want to communicate with real people here. Uh, people don't post because of AI slop. Now AI slop will look like people posting and attempt to engage with people, but in reality, it'd be AI posting to AI. My takeaway, by the time you generate and analyze the three or more, I mean, we're going to have like AI content being generated with AI comments and yeah, craziness, craziness. As always, let me know your thoughts below. Like and subscribe. Check out my other channels in the description. Although I say that, I don't really put anything on my gaming channel. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.